Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. First off, Merry Christmas. I know I'm like a day late right now, a day or two late right now, but um, I wanted to say Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you all have been having a great time. You've been staying safe, been staying healthy, and spending a lot of time with family, making a lot of money. You know, all, all that all that good stuff, man. Um, I wanted to uh, come back, come back on here and and talk a little bit about some VV because I have been getting messages. People have been hitting me up and people have been wanting to know my perspective on things that's going on in the community. Um, I have been working on my business, as you all know. Um, things has been, have been going very, very well. They've been moving so fast and that's why I haven't really been around because I've been so focused on that. Because honestly, it's just, it's, it's insane. It's insane how, how far and how fast the business is going. And yeah, I mean, there's no signs of slowing down. I'm going to keep going hard. And I'm going to eventually show you all what, what gets built, like the final processes and things like that. But um, I mean, the, well, that's, that's going to be when the time is right. That, that's, that's one thing that I have learned from Vivi. It's like, I know that timing, timing is important. It's fine to be patient and things like that and take your time. And that's that's one of the things that, um, that I'm, I'm personally doing as well. I'm practicing that as well. So, um, that being said, let's actually jump into some of the VV things. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications if you are new and let's jump into it. So, um, there was an interesting post that was actually posted on Twitter and it says this one question about VV. Why have they unloaded all the top IP NFTs in the first two years before the wait list? There is only one more if they even have it, Pokemon. You all say um, you are early, yet there is not um, much left as far as high-end big IP drops. Answers. So the answer is if you think like this, it like because surface level, when you really don't understand the project too in depth, this sounds like an amazing point that he's making. It sounds like something that you can agree with and get behind unless you actually understand the project. And that's the disconnect. A lot of people don't actually understand the project. This is why people get concerned. This is why people get worried. Um, this is why people lose conviction in the investment because they don't actually understand where the investment is going and how long it's gonna take to accomplish certain things. So you, you can have someone like me, I make certain investment decisions because I understand that the part that's gonna make the big money, the part that I'm waiting for, it's gonna take them a while to build that out. It's gonna take them a long time to build that out. It's, this is not just as simple as secure. And, and securing an IP, Creating the, creating the um, models and creating the NFTs and things like that, like that's not easy. But to do what 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 needs to be done to actually get to the prices that I am waiting for, I'm waiting to see. That's a long, long process. It's going to take a lot of time. So let's actually jump into why this this really makes no sense if you understand the project. Um. So yeah. That being said, um, why have they unloaded all the top IP and NFTs in the first two years? Um, I think that this is very, very simple, to be honest. Um, it's important to have this IP out there. We don't know how long they have permission to, 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 to be dropping this IP, to be using this IP. We want them to use as much of this IP as long as they have the licenses and things like that as possible. We want them to be making these licensors as much money right now as possible. So I want to see them continue to drop these IP, continue to make these licensors happy so these licensors continue to choose Vivi and VV can remain on top. I think that it's very, very important for that to happen because what people fail to realize is that everything that you see on VV right now is simply the gift shop. They've said this multiple times, but people don't take it serious because it doesn't directly impact your, your bank account in the short term. So that's part of the things that people ignore. If, if it's not making somebody money right now, they, they don't take it serious. So they don't, they don't value it when VV says things. But this is purely just the gift shop right now. This is the beginning stages. So getting all this IP, getting all these brands out there, this is putting you in a great position to do some really, really good marketing. I know a lot of people think that, oh, when they drop a big brand, they should market. They should market right then when they drop the big brand to onboard people and things like that. And yeah, it would be big if people had the opportunity to, to buy into a digital asset as soon as it drops. But What's more, what's more valuable is the fact that the digital asset is on Vivi. At any point in time, they can they can market to that same audience and, and just have some type of event going on. So let's say that they have a, a AF15 event in the Vivi-verse going on. So, so anyone who loves that comic book, they can then market and advertise to that audience later on. And there could be a whole meeting and, and whole event and whole activities based around AF15 going on in the metaverse. So you're not gonna miss out on this marketing opportunity because you have these products on Vivi already. 
it's like people think that oh vivi's missing they're, they're missing their opportunity they're missing their chance not realizing the bigger picture no they're just preparing to really do what they need to do to take this project to where it needs to go um they're they're, they're putting the they're they're putting the building blocks in place so that when they do advertise when they do market and when they do go hard on that front it's it's really going to draw in it's going to it's going to draw in a lot of people and then these people are going to be able to be retained because there's actually something to do at the end of the day right now vivi is very very boring everyone's still excited about drops and it's great if you're a true collector if you love collecting the fact that you can stay engaged with the same old drops over and over and over and over the fact that you can stay engaged with that that's amazing. It tells you that Vivi is on to something, but everyone is not like that. Me personally, I'm a gamer. I'm from the gaming community. Um, just collecting something for it to sit there. It's like, I do it because I'm an inv investor as well. Like that's the discipline in me. I'm an investor as well. But the fact of the matter is like, to, we're gonna need people around the clock on Vivi, burning the OMI token, burning um, NFTs, all types of stuff. We need people active on this platform which means Vivi has a lot of work to do to retain these users. So, um, yeah, that being said, um, they're not really wasting IP. Before the wait list and things like that, yeah, drops drops should not be the primary reason that you're invested in Vivi. Drops should not be that, that, that thing that makes you believe that Vivi is really going to make it because drops is one of the smallest aspects of Vivi. The fact that these products actually drop on VV is a major W. It's a huge thing. And it does create opportunities to make short-term money. It creates opportunity to buy stuff at a, at a low price, hold it, and then make a lot more money even in the long term. It the, Like the drops does come with a lot of opportunity. But the biggest opportunity is in the things that VV is actually going to be doing and allowing you to do with these NFTs. This space is moving towards utility. What's valuable in this space is going to be based around the utilities attached to these things. And that's something that people have to remember. That's something that people have to keep in mind. It's going to be all about the different types of utilities attached to this stuff and what you can do with it. You don't listen to the examples of people saying, oh, look at the Pokemon cards. That, those don't have to do anything. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This doesn't have to do anything. This is worth this much, but that doesn't have to do anything. Don't listen to these people because they're thinking about the old world. Understand. <clears throat> understand you're moving into a new world this is what vv is you're investing into a world that never never existed before within this world we're investing in a technology that allows for extreme extremely different types of utility this technology allows for this it it, it needs it. it it thrives from this it, it's like with this technology you're going to have utility um and that that's like that's by design so people don't people who don't understand this technology like people understand the collecting aspect but don't understand the technology that is allowing vv to create this to, to create all of this you can't just understand one or the other you can't just understand the technology and you can't just understand the collecting aspect you have to understand both to really understand the big picture and and that's that's something that's missing uh, most people in the vv community they focus on what they care about so a lot of people who invest in Vivi who don't know much about the OMI token. Um, the reason that I chose to know a little bit or a decent amount about everything is because you're not going to get a holistic view of where this project is going if you don't understand every single aspect of, of, of what's going on within the project. So, um, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that the IP is not being wasted. It's actually being um, put, put out in a very smart way, in my opinion. Um, it's being put out, it's keeping people entertained, it's keeping people interested right now. And you can see these new brands coming. It's keeping, it's retaining some people, but really what they're doing is dropping this content so they can get it out there. And then once the metaverse comes and once, once they're able to bring different utilities to it through game, mini games, game modes and stuff like that within the Vverse, um, <clears throat> maybe movie theaters, maybe access to, to special content within the Vverse. Who knows? Like, there are so many different options, so many different things that you could do. Um, and that's that's what this is going to be about. It's going to be about what you can do with this stuff. Why is someone going to rent these items from you? Why would someone want to rent your NFTs? That's something that people always like to question. They always like to make it seem like that they're making a point when they say, yo, why would anybody want to rent a VV asset? What's the benefit of that? 
exactly that's the question that you should be asking that's what you should be thinking about and that's that's the whole point of this is why we're so early we know that the technology is going to be based around renting and and, and utility and stuff like this but what are some valuable benefits that v <coughs> excuse me that vv could actually give to some of these nfts that's going to make make people want to rent <coughs> them so yeah man um that being said Hopefully this was clear and it, it helps you understand a little bit more about where we're going and, and why VV is making some of the decisions that they're making and why it's important that they make these type of decisions right now. Because people are trying to make a ton of money in a bear market. This is not the time to make money. This is the time to be putting yourself in a position to make money later. Um, I, I don't think that people understand this. Like this is the time where if you have skills, if, if you're skilled at something, if you're able to generate money, it's a lot of money to be made right now. But if you're just waiting on investments to move, this is not the time to be making money off of investments, unless you're some type of trader who's really, really good. And even then, a lot of traders aren't trading in, in these this type of market, these type of conditions. So, yeah, um, at the end of the day, you got to understand. You got to understand your goals, what you're looking to accomplish, what you're looking to do. Um, if you're looking to make money in the short term, you have to be able to to think realistically about things. I want money in the short term. VV is not a short term project. If I want money in the short term, I'm going to have to move my I'm going to have to move some capital somewhere where I can get a return in the short term. This is why I made the decision to move some capital to my own business, because I can make money in the short term. And I've more than probably tripled, maybe quadrupled everything that I had invested in VV um and in and, and just a month um the first week i had already like doubled everything that i had ever invested in vv and that's that's what that's what this market is allowing right now especially if you have certain skills so i think that it's important to really to really understand this investment to understand what you want out of this investment the timeline that you want it out and also talk to people see if your timeline is even realistic because people, I see so many people saying, oh, this should take three to five years. Something that has never existed in the world, something that no one has ever created, that has never been done, that's completely untested, and we don't know where it's going. Like, people are saying that something like that should be established within, it's like the internet all over again. When the internet first came out, nobody knew what it was going to be, what, what it was going to become. You didn't know that there was going to be social media platforms and things like this. You didn't even know that there was going to be a consumer base for this stuff. There was so much we didn't know. And people don't realize this is the same cycle repeating again. So it may not take 10 years, but people thinking three to five, is, it's not very likely that it's going to take that short amount of time. And honestly, it's going to take more than 10 years for it to get to where it really needs to go. But for it to start really changing the world and shaping the world, I think that that happens starting at the five-year mark, within five, heading towards 10 for sure. Um, so... Yeah, my, my, my mindset towards this stuff was I was always holding 10 years. I'm, 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 my plan is to hold 10 years. Um, I know that uh, I know certain pieces that I'm going to want to hold as far as the NFTs go, but a lot of things that I, I just don't want to take that type of risk on where it's like, I don't, I'm not knowledgeable about this. I'm not going to hold this. What I am knowledgeable about is the OMI token. And I know that if I hold the OMI token, I'm invested in every single NFT. So I don't have to gamble on which NFT is going to blow up, or why it's going to blow up. I don't have to sit here and debate people in the community. I can just hold the OMI token, which encompasses every single NFT. So I don't care who wins the debate. Your Todd can win a debate. The Secret Rare Spider-Man can win. I don't care which one of you win. Regardless of either one of you winning, I win. And this is why I've invested in the OMI token. Now, there's the, the, the side of who don't really understand the OMI token, who thinks that VV can function without it, and they don't need it, and they're not going to do right by their investors. But at the end of the day, as an investor, you need to understand why you invest in a company. Um, I've invested in the company because they stand by what they say. Even if there's hiccups, they always stand by what they say and they make things right. So, yeah, that being said, um, we're going to end the video here. I don't want to jump too much into it. Um, but, um, yeah, um, freaking hair in my mouth. But, yeah, that's that's where we're going to end the video at, man. Um, hopefully this this really helped you all kind of understand a little bit more about where VV is going, where this has the potential to go and, and, and make you maybe reassess your timelines, your strategy, 
and stuff like that because there's so much opportunity out here right now. And I'd hate to see people missing out on opportunities, especially if you do need some something for short term or if you're looking for midterm or like like depending on your goals. I would hate to see you setting yourself up for failure because you're too stubborn to want to elevate your way of thinking. Um, there's always growth to, to be had from anyone. And, and I think that's important to remember that. But that being said, Joe, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn on notifications and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.